Oh, of course. Me? Yeah. Okay, why don't you tell us your name and um, what you're doing in Hutchison? Sure, uh, I'm Nelson Escalante, and I am here because three of my sculptures made it to the competition for this year. Oh, great. Can yeah. you tell us what the names of them are? Um, let me see if I remember all three of them. I have a pink meditations, which is a giraffe looking thing that is pink. And then I have a bicycle chick, which is um, a bicycle turned into, and it's not chick like a girl, it's chick like chick. Like, uh -huh. Yeah, yeah that, the other one to me would be the meaning. And then the third one uh, is, uh, Les Musicales, which is uh, a composition of three different identities, a dog, a cat, and a little guy who are playing music, in my mind. Yeah, yeah. neat. And what do you uh, do your sculptures with? What, what kind of materials do you use? You know, um, sculpting for me is building something up. It's not carving something out. So I use stainless steel, I use copper, regular iron or steel and I use a lot of what I call repurpose materials oh, okay. so people call it recycle I just reassign them a different use like the bicycle for example now has a different service to do hopefully for a long time yeah okay. well what drew you to Hutchison to the sculpture wall? well I did the uh, sculpture walk four years ago for the first time in Kansas uh, in Wichita and Wichita hooked me up with Hutchinson, so I competed two years ago and we got two pieces on the competition. Uh, and People's uh, Bank, People's Choice and Trust Bank purchased one of them and it's in front of their area right there. It's the called horse. Tony. Yes, the horse. The horse that keeps disappearing because people keep hurting him. Oh. But, <laughs> so I keep taking him to the shop to get it fixed. Of course, the bank helps me with that. But, anyways, yeah. And so this year, I wasn't going to compete, but they asked me if I could, and I did, and I'm gracious, very, uh, very gracious of them to take three of them. That was awesome. <laughs> well, great. Yeah. So how long have you been creating art? Very good, very good question. It's, it's been a long time. I have worked in Miami for the last 15 years, and I still do. In fact, I was supposed to be there today. Uh, I sent somebody in my replacement, uh, because this is important to me and I work in the design district of Miami. Uh, I'm, I'm mostly a painter. I started doing the sculptures as a new medium for me in the last four years. And it's gone well so far. We have won People's Choice Award twice in Wichita. Great. So that has been pretty good. And like I said, we sold one to the bank. So I, I, I'm happy that we got into that medium. Uh, but mostly in Miami, we do uh, paintings and indoor sculptures. Those, those I have done before with clay and other materials. Yeah. But I've been doing this since I remember I was a kid. My father and my mother wanted me to have an outlet that is, you know, and it's become a pretty good outlet for me yeah. financially. Um, but my main occupation is I, I'm a college professor. I teach for Butler Community College for the last, this is my 26th year. Teaching for them, I started when I was 10. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's what I claim, you know. <laughs> but anyways, and, and I am the lead academic advisor also there. So um, I have different roles. So technically, I'm always busy doing what I like, art and teaching. And that's, that's who I am. If you guys are interviewing me to know why I'm here and why, why do I do what I do, this is the passion of my life, really. So thank you for asking and thank you for both of you. Yeah, okay. well, it was great meeting you, and yeah, thank I'm you. looking forward to hearing you this evening. And I hope so, I don't have to say much, yeah. because <laughs> this is all right. <laughs>